I tried to cheat against the hill climb champ using bionic legs. 300 watts for nothing. I'm not even trying. I genuinely think this might do it. Unfortunately, it didn't work and I lost. I think we're gonna to have to go back to the drawing board. But still, it was fascinating to experience tech like this and despite not achieving the win, the audience has spoken and I'm back for a TT effort. How efficient will I be though on a flat course? How much will it save my effort? And also, how fast can I go and with what power in a max sprint? It's time to find out. Let's go. If you missed our previous video on the channel, these are the bionic legs in question. They are an exoskeleton, essentially a mechanical skeleton made from carbon and titanium, which is worn externally with an inbuilt motor that provides a claimed 1000 watts of power. They supposedly last for around two hours of riding and could reduce your effort by 39%. Ollie though was skeptical. Look at the state of you, Connor, and you've got You've got the, this uh, exo appendage that you're wearing, the, the socks and sandals. You just look like you're. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I was wearing like sandals. You, it's just, it's just like, what is this? The loser <laughs> world championships? Like, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Looks and cynicism aside, he had to admit that they did provide some assistance. Not enough to beat a hill climb champ, but on a flat TT course, would they fare better? So TT season has unfortunately come to a close. But you guys did speak, you wanted me to do a TT, and I'm gonna try and give you that because I found the next best thing, a TT course. Now, I've devised a route close to here that's 10 kilometers long. It's mostly flat, it's pretty fast. And I'm gonna do two efforts on it, one with the legs and one without. My reason for doing the two efforts is because I don't want to go flat out. I wanna ride a set watt, set power, and then I'm gonna compare my heart rate between the two efforts to see how my mechanically assisted body, how it works and how efficient it actually is and how much effort it potentially saves me. Either way, once more, it's time to don the legs. <laughs> there we go. Max power engaged. Hey, <laughs> we're back. I'll tell you what, I've missed these legs. I just get so excited about them. I tell you what it is. I want to run. I want to run with the wolves. Right, where's my bicycle? Let's go ride him. The route I've chosen for this experiment is one you may have seen on GCN before, when we presenters battled it out to the last man standing during a particularly blustery wintry day. I've adapted that route slightly, bringing it down to 10 kilometers. Mostly flat with a couple of drags, it should serve as a straightforward testing ground to put down two consistent efforts. Right then, I'm superhuman once more. 10 kilometers, flat effort. Let's see how we go. I'm in max mode as well, hyper mode. So, watch this space. And as always, look amazing. <laughs> yeah, give me a countdown. Three, two, two, one. Right, I'm off. Okay. Oh, it's so weird! Tell you what, I feel really good. I feel really good. There's a finish line. All right. Woo. Oh, I'm normally battered after an effort here on the channel, but actually, it felt pretty good. It felt nice. I upped the power more than I said. I did say I'd do 300, I did 350, 347 average. Average heart rate was 147 beats per minute. I'm just looking here on my Wahoo Rome screen. 18 minutes, 12. 
I'll confirm that later, but they're the rough, rough data points for the first run. Pretty good. Now though, time to take the legs off and repeat that effort. See how the body copes without the, the mechanical assistance. Little break first though. That's better than I thought it would be. It felt nice. It was nice on the flat. Don't know if it's going to be as nice without the motor though on this next run. Okay. Just back to me and my long legs. Same effort again. I'm going to try and stick to the exact same power as best I can. And then afterwards I can look at the data and see how my heart rate changed between the two. I think I'm also going to tell pretty immediately how the effort is going to be different. I honestly think it, I did get a solid bit of help there with, with the exoskeleton attached, but maybe I'm just on a good day. Let's find out. Can you give me a count in when it's clear? Three, two, one, and we're off. Feel a bit more sluggish already. Hoping I haven't set myself too hard a target to aim at. Really interesting. You might even be able to tell actually just from seeing me at the finish here. I feel a lot more out of breath. Do you think the heart rate was higher? I'm not quite sure how. Oh, but I do think it was. I think that effort cost me more. Power was bang on though, so I paced it perfectly on both runs. Now though, I sit down, catch my breath, go through all the data properly. Before I do that though, I've got one last experiment for the legs. I want to see how fast I can ride my bike on the flat with them in a max sprint, with and without. So, what do you reckon? Let's do it. Woo! Here we go then. Max sprint. Max speed test. We're in, right. Ramp it up slowly. I'm gonna finish strong. Here we go. 30k an hour, 550 watts, 500 watts. Right, let's go. Right then, the legs are back on, max sprint test. 1,024 watts I just managed by myself. Let's see what I can do now. Right, here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so I am back close to GCM Megabase. I've had a shower, I've dusted myself off, and I've had a chance to go through the data of those two runs when I used the legs and when I didn't. And I've got to say, it's really interesting to delve into this because I do think there is quite a clear difference between both efforts. Starting actually with those sprints that I did at the end, where I really wanted to see if these allowed me to have a higher max power and a higher speed. Now, in terms of that, there wasn't any difference. So my sprint was pretty much bang on exactly the same. I managed 1,020 watts on both efforts. So it wasn't really doing much for me there, but on those 10 kilometer TT efforts, I think there is a clear difference. So when I use the bionic legs, I managed to average 347 watts. My heart rate average was 147 beats per minute. I then had a break, had a nice rest. I was also pretty confident that I was able to repeat that effort, that my durability and fitness was high enough to be able to cope with two efforts on the day. And when I repeated the effort without the legs, 
I again managed to average the exact same power, but my heart rate went up to 158 beats per minute, which is a 7% difference. And for me, I think that's noticeable. I think that's a kind of a solid jump in effort needed to sustain that power. So obviously the legs were doing something there to reduce the effort needed from my body and instead add some effort mechanically via these bionic legs in this system. Now, 7% is not perhaps as much as is claimed for these, but in that scenario, that's what I was getting. And you've got to sit up and take note of that. <laughs> I know Ollie has laughed at me for these legs, and it's probably fair. But at the same time, I find it really interesting to see where this sort of tech might go and where it might develop in the future and evolve to. Um, where will we see it next? I don't know, but it's just a fascinating piece of equipment that people are potentially using to make themselves more active and, and to ride their bikes or walk or hike in, in a different way. So you can't, you can't take that away from it. Actually, I think on that point of where this will go next, there's another caveat in that I am a bit of an outlier in terms of size. And there's also the argument that potentially these weren't optimized for my height. And if there was further optimization, maybe it would have allowed for a, a greater difference um, in terms of performance help. I'm not sure. That's one for the future, perhaps. But um, yeah, it's been fascinating for me to delve into this. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you think bionic help, mechanically assisted legs or arms was ever going to play a larger role in our lives or our, our riding? I'm not sure. Um, but I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. I'm going uh, to put these away for a little bit now.